Hello there, welcome back to another video. If you were subscribed to me back on the old channel, you might remember seeing the video of the phone babies, the little tiny iPhone clones. Those videos are absolutely terrible because I just use my camera flash to just film everything and it just doesn't look good. It's not to the point or anything. So I've decided to just completely refilm it. And for that sake, I have completely forgotten everything about the phone. And I don't want to watch my previous videos either because it's just ugh, cringy. Uh, so here we go. Gonna start again. So here we have an iPhone 5S. This is just a usual 5S, the one that I have that's all scratched up to shithouse and everything like that. But it all works. It's not on at the moment. But let's keep that for a reference because here we have the phone baby. Now, from what I can see, this phone was released around 2015 or so. I'll try and see if I can find dates specifically. I picked this up off eBay for about 50 bucks, I think. And I don't know if you can get this still. I'll leave any links in the description below if I can find this somewhere. Uh, but I think they're around 50 US anyways. Tiny little phone. It is absolutely tiny. It is called the Phone Baby with a B and some Chinese writing. Phone Baby. Phone Baby. Phone Baby. Mini smartphone that it is. On the back here, we have Phone Baby Mini Smartphone, 2.4 inch IPS LCD screen capacitive, Android 4.2 Jelly Bean, GSM, sorry, it might not do 3G. I don't think it does 3G, but we will check. An MTK6572 dual core CPU, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 256 meg of RAM, which is eh, 512 meg of ROM. Eh. Front camera, back camera is pretty crap as far as I can remember. It was very crap, but we'll all test it anyways. Uh, FM radio, music and video player, micro USB port, micro SD card slot, and includes accessories, dual camera, quad band, Wi-Fi, BLT. I'm going to say that's not a bacon, lettuce, and tomato thing. It's Bluetooth, dual SIM, and Android with some jelly beans shaking around in there. U5. So it could be a phone baby U5, but it's based on the iPhone 5 slash 5S. Made in China, of course. Of course you are. So, let's have a look and see how tiny this little thing is. Well, actually, I'm going to show you the accessories included first. Phone baby logo everywhere. Inside, we have a pair of earphones, which probably sound like tin cans, and I haven't even tested these or anything. They're still in their original packaging. And an AC adapter that is for my country. And the AC adapter has something quite funny on it. Designed by Ippel in California, assembled in China. Model, blah, 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 blah. It is 5 volt, 2 amp. I very much doubt that. It's lightweight, and I, I would never plug this in. It once came with a USB cable as well, but I since kind of pinched that and used that for something else. So yeah, in terms of accessories, that's probably all you're going to get. Here is the 5. And here's the upside down phone baby. And as you can see, there is quite a a difference considering there's a four inch screen on the five and a what was it 2.4 was it 2.4 yeah 2.4 inch display on the phone baby but around the phone you can see that it sort of resembles it kind of uh the speaker is you know located in kind of the same place camera isn't uh, on the sides of the phone you can see that it has the buttons that look pretty much like the real deal they've got the plus and the minus on them they have the antenna bands as well, just to, you know, confuse you up a little bit. We also have a micro USB port and a headphone jack and a little place for your lanyard, microphone, hole, presumably. No SIM card slot on the side of the phone and we have a power button at the top. Not in the same location though, but anyways. And as we can see on the backs, kind of looks the same, complete with a silver back, but this is all just plastic and all that sort of stuff. The funny thing is, it's called a Digital Multimedia Broadcasting Portable Multimedia Jukebox Terminator. MP4 Terminator, sorry. Uh, yeah, fantastic. Now, to remove the back cover, we just simply slide up and it comes off. It's just a piece of plastic. That's it. The battery inside is a 1000 milliamp hour battery. You specify charger, yada, yada, yada. Looks all good. We're going to pop that out. We can see it is a Phone Baby V. And there's the model number. There's only one IMEI, but there's two SIM card slots. No idea. There's a speaker there. There's a place to put a micro SD card if you want to. We're probably going to install one just for the sake of it. Um, SIM 1, SIM 2. We may as well put a SIM card in it. If it detects a network, fantastic. If it doesn't, so be it. Okay, with a SIM card and the micro SD card installed, let's install the battery. And slip the cover back onto the phone. And we are ready to start up this tiny little thing. 
and you still don't know the the realization of how tiny this phone is. Okay, now that I've zoomed in completely, well, just organized my tripod to sort of sit close to it, I'll adjust the autofocus settings in a second. Um, it's, yeah, it's gonna be very, very hard to show on camera, but now I have lighting, so it's not too bad. Also, did you know, there's a screen protector already installed on the phone. I'm not sure if it comes with one. I think it does, I'm pretty sure it would. There we go, phone baby. Okay, so the phone is completely booted up and all I'm getting is searching for new networks. So I have a slight feeling that I cannot connect to a 3G network. It is only 2G, which sucks. But anyways, I've had to adjust all the camera settings just to show you how tiny this thing is. Oh, wait. I have, I have service. I have service. No? Maybe? We will try calling it later, but anyways, let's keep on going with this review because I hope this isn't going to be very long. So we got the physical home button here, which doesn't do anything, not a fingerprint sensor or anything like that. We can unlock it like so, and we will close that. And now we are into the phone, and it is the full Android experience. Everything is here. You just have to know how to navigate this thing because you get a little assistance thing like the real iPhones, which has back, menu, lock screen, home, and video. And yeah, it's it's a fully fledged Android phone. It does everything that you need it to do. Now, I've already got uh, spec apps already installed on here to see what this device is actually running, but you can use this pretty well. Wi-Fi, we're gonna turn that on. Here is a slight problem. Trying to connect to a Wi-Fi network is no problems except when you get to the part where you need to type in something. This becomes a problem. So now if I wanted to connect to my Wi-Fi network, this, <laughs> let's, let's just try. No. Yeah, you kind of need matchstick fingers in order to use the keyboard. It works, but you just gotta be really persistent with it. And we are connected to my Wi-Fi network, hurrah. We can continue looking through the settings, go away. Thank you. Uh, we'll see if we can uh, check Bluetooth, um, not Bluetooth, networks. Uh, preferred networks, Optus 2G, 3G. Okay, so if I select that. So I'm getting to the point now where I think this is only a 2G phone because I can't connect to any mobile network whatsoever. In storage, let's have a look at storage. So phone storage, we have, well, obviously can't change it. 151 meg, said 512 meg ROM on the back, but it might be a 256 meg ROM if I remember correctly. But yes, it detects my SD card, so that's all good. Battery percentage, you can display, so it's at 90%. Uh, I fully charged this probably three or four days ago, so it's eh, not too bad, I guess. Uh, location security, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. Let's go to about phone, where you can see it's called the Phone Baby 5, so that's what it's actually called. Running Android version 4.4.2, baseband, all that sort of stuff. Let's try system updates, because you just never know. Nope, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to get any updates for this device. What a surprise. So then you're probably wondering, okay, so can I watch YouTube videos on this thing? You certainly can. We're going to try that. Wish me luck typing in my name here. You can obviously see my failed attempt last time when I tried to Google it. Hey, look, there we go. I got it. And there we go. You can see everything here. So let's open up my last video, which is Thrift Shop Pickups. Can we adjust the quality or anything like that? I wonder if we can. No, I don't think we can. I think it's just automatic. Let's full screen it. There you go. Let's turn it up. Hello again and welcome to an episode of Okay, so it probably won't play YouTube videos that well, uh, unless I can somehow change the quality. Oh, look, I don't use YouTube mobile that much, so I don't quite know. But you can see everything here. You can click on links and all that sort of stuff, and you can see everything else. 
and it, it works fine. Like you would be able to use this. It's just typing is a little bit difficult. It works for the most part. We're gonna test the uh, speaker output as well to see how loud it actually is. But otherwise, internet browsing, you can do. And yeah, you probably can watch YouTube videos. Like, I wonder if I just played it now, instead of it being full screen, probably runs perfectly fine. No, it, it doesn't. Okay, maybe because of the 256 meg of RAM installed in this phone, it's probably not going to help your case when trying to watch videos. So you can see the lag. It's just like, lag, lag. Don't forget, it's probably got this custom skin as well and the assistive touch that's also slowing down the phone. So we're going to go and have a look at the specs on the phone, starting with Antutu. So we have the Phone Baby 5, 4.4.2, MTK6571, was that on the box? Hopefully. 240 by 432 display, two megapixel rear camera, RAM is 256 meg, system storage probably appears to be maybe a 128 meg ROM or a 256 meg ROM perhaps. CPU model, it is dual core, it is all good. Let's test the multi-touch. Wow, well hang on, three point multi-touch. That's quite impressive. Rear camera and front camera supposedly are the same. I guess we're gonna have to check. Android version seems to be all completely fine. Android 4.4.2, which is all good. Wait, hang on, isn't, that's KitKat, isn't it? 4.4.2 is KitKat, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, otherwise, let's try another one. You have two Cortex-A7 cores at 1.3 gigahertz, which is all good. 4.12 inches it reckons the screen is. No, far from it. Uh, yeah, 256 meg RAM, of course. Internal storage, 0 0.15 gig, yeah. I'm gonna say 256 meg wrong with this one. So in the last sort of 10, 15 minutes, it's went down 5% battery. It's, look, it's a 1000 milliamp hour battery. It's not gonna last all day. Uh, this is really a novelty, as I'm gonna get to at the end of this. So now we know the specs of the device, uh, which I'll display at the end. I think it's now time to test the camera. I'm gonna do this separately after I finish this video, but I know the quality is quite crap. So I'll splice what the photos look like now and a video test and we'll continue on. So this is the recording test for the Phone Baby 5 and as you can see, there's no optical image stabilization, no autofocus, nothing like that. This is just outside so you can see all the colors and all that sort of stuff. So now that you've seen the video test, uh, I'm 100% sure that it's crap. But what can you expect on a device this big? You don't expect it to take high resolution photos or anything like that. It's a type of camera that you would see on a phone from say 2004. Okay, so now it's time to test the speaker on this thing. So I have my little decibel meter thing here which seems to be working fine put the little light on the song i'm going to be playing is from the 2016 doom which is mick gordon's rip and tear which i used to test on all the other phones as well so we're going to play that and i'll get to the good part and we will hear what this little thing has to offer headphone users you have been warned Okay, so I don't know what we've reached there, but I'd say about 97 decibels would be about correct. The speaker is a bit tinny, but look, it'll do the job quite fine for just basic stuff. Now, as for the whole purpose of this device, purely it is for novelty. I mean, it's not practical for all day use and everything like that. It's just, it's such a novelty, but it's a cool little novelty to show this to your friends and go, hey, look at this tiny little phone that actually works. It's just absolutely amazing. And... In fact, they've made two versions from this one. There's this one, then they made a 6S version, then they made a 7S version. However, the 7S version is inferior, and I'll get to that in the 6S video, because I've got to make the 6S video again, because I reviewed that previously on my old channel, and I just want to refilm it again, because it's just easier. There's just not really much else to say. It's, it's made for a good video. It's made me laugh. If Zach from Jerry Rig Everything had this in his hands, he'd do a Ben test on it, and... It would probably survive, actually. It would probably work. 
it would it would live to survive. Um, I'm going to display the specs right here, so feel free to look at them and go over them and have a look at them and look at them again and all that sort of stuff, and that's about it. Phone Baby 5, if I find links to this phone, I'll put them in the description below if you want to have a look at this novelty thing, but I highly suggest that you wait for the next video on the 6S version of this, because it's a lot better, it's feature-packed, and it has one good thing, it has 4G capability, which is awesome. But, there you have it. The little tiny phone that never could. Alright, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll be continuing these tech reviews in the next few weeks and all that sort of stuff. I'm going to take the battery and all this stuff out of the phone, and we'll call this a review. Thank you again for watching, really appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next video, whatever that may be. If you like this content, feel free to leave a like or a dislike if you didn't. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.